What's up everyone, Justin Mello and Justin Graver here back again with another breakdown for the Music City Audible YouTube channel and today we're breaking down the Titans starting quarterback situation for week 8 against the Atlanta Falcons. They just announced it will be Will Levis making his NFL debut for the Titans. The rookie quarterback gets the nod over Malik Willis over a presumably too injured to play Ryan Tannehill. This is exciting times, huh? Well, you said it. I mean, that that loud cheer you're hearing, that audible, it's tight stands <laughs> everywhere, uh, thrilled with this decision, right? It's uh, Look, we ran some polls, different websites I write for. Titans fans have been very vocal. They wanted to see Will Levis in this game. He will be making his NFL debut, as you said, an exciting quarterback out of Kentucky. Look, they think he's a face of the franchise type quarterback. That's what they hope he is, right? They traded up for him to get him in the second round. There was rumors they were going to trade back into the first round. They could have taken him at 11 overall, they considered, right? But they were surprised Peter Skaronsky was there. So uh, this is a decision everyone wanted to see. You're going to get your first glimpse into Will Levis as a professional quarterback as the Titans start the process, this isn't going to be his only start, I imagine. Yeah. As they start the process of figuring out if he could be their starting quarterback in 2024 and beyond, the Titans are officially looking to the future by making this decision. I can't wait to see the kid play. I was higher on him than most Titans fans were that didn't like the pick. Most of them were Vols fans anyway. I was high <laughs> on him throughout the entire pre-draft process before the Titans drafted him. I liked him coming out of Kentucky. Big, strong-armed, athletic quarterback, can make some stuff happen and off script can use his legs has a little Josh Allen to his game even with some of the boneheaded turnovers in all honesty yeah. right like Allen is still making questionable decisions I think you'll see some of that with Levis but like Allen if he's as good as he can be you take the good with the bad and you live to fight another down another possession so I can't wait to see this kid um, uh, first glimpse into him can he be their starting quarterback moving forward as I said this is to be his first of many opportunities this season I don't see how they go away from him right after making this decision uh, but don't forget it's not just about figuring out the future maybe he's better than we think he is maybe he gives them the jolt in the arm that this offense needs and maybe they get back into the playoff picture with Will Levis yeah. I mean that's the best case scenario regardless of outcome I cannot wait to see him play on Sunday and we'll be back next week in order to recap his performance probably do it hopefully maybe even a video breakdown at some point of how he played in this one so we'll see if at you've got point. the time for that based yeah. on your schedule but at some I point can't we'll get regardless to we'll be back to recap his start I can't wait to see it yeah, and speaking of video breakdowns, now's a pretty good time. If you haven't ever checked it out, we have a lot of new followers yes. since we posted this a long time ago. Click right up here, top right of your screen. I'm posting it here. Will Levis breakdown. We we broke down his Kentucky film with his offensive coordinator, oh. Liam Cohen. So you got to check that video out if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen that one. All right. Sorry, yep. before you go, I'm just going to add one of the best things you and I have ever done. By far, sure. potentially the best piece of work you and I have ever produced. Oh, ever. Yeah. I agree. Totally. So make sure you check that out. That'll do it for us. As Justin said, we'll be back next week to recap this game. Until then, y'all stay safe out there and tighten up.